Hey guys. Uh, I just seen that. I just seen the Pell Rider put up a post. I don't use other YouTubers' names or anything ever. But today I'm going to to make a point. And the point isn't to attack these people. The point is for them to, to, to do a little thinking before they do a video. And yeah, I've done some thinking before I've done this video. And since I am the, the senior driver out here in this in this kind of stuff, I, I think I should make a, make, a, make a point, right? Trucker Rudy, when he was passing that driver, he had every right to pass that driver. The driver was creeping. He was in the way. He was taking up space. Yeah, he he got fired. Okay, the driver got fired, but he did he he deserved to be handled. A more aggressive man after the first flip off would have handled him right then. And and if he had been sitting back going, I'm not going to be aggressive today. I'm going to be nice. When the guy came to Rudy's truck, the Tennessee steel hauler guy came to Rudy's truck. If it had been me, I would have I would have opened the door. I would have kicked him in his teeth, and then I would have punched him in his throat, and the fight would have been over. Then they would have had to tow his truck, because he wouldn't have been getting in it and driving away. Apparently, this is a big issue. Um, the, the fence sitters in the industry are saying, oh, Trucker Rudy, you're bad. You're a bad boy. Tennessee Steel Haulers asked Rudy to do a second video telling what happened because, matter of fact, I'll put the audio right here. Hey, this is Dan Smith, the uh, uh, safety director of the Tennessee Steel Haulers. Hey, give me a call back if you get a minute. I want to tell you about some of the, some of the issues that your little video that you posted out there is having and how you can help us uh, correct it. You were very quick at throwing the video out and sharing our numbers and email addresses. But you don't seem so quick at putting something out there that says that we've dealt with the situation and that we've called to talk to you. So now I've got all of my safety team answering emails and answering phone calls about stuff that's already been dealt with. The driver's been uh, released. We've done everything that we should as a carrier do. But you just set that stuff out there and then you walk away from it and realize the resources that you're taking away from a safety department it could be dealing with the next guy out there that's going to do something stupid. So maybe if you're going to post this now, my suggestion would be to go out there and after we called you back or any company called you back and address the situation, then you put something out there that says, you know what, guys, we got to respond. Because I've had some pretty good conversations with people that have called about this. Anyway, just my suggestion, you don't have to follow it. I know you don't. I know you... Uh, you get off on your 15 minutes of fame or whatever you're getting out of this, but you, you're really not helping the industry, and I, and, and I wish you would reconsider how you do this. Finalize it. Make sure people know that, you know what, your calls, your emails, whatever were heard, it's been addressed so that you can stop it and they can move on to the next issue that you guys find out there. My two cents for a good day. Okay, I hope you heard all of that audio. For those of you that have never traveled to a foreign country, for those of you who've never gotten in trouble or, or anything because you're fence setting, listen, when you're in another country, you mind your P's and Q's. You don't get yourself in trouble. You just be good because you're automatically, in your own head, you're pretty sure you're the one that's going to be in trouble even if you're in the right because you're in a foreign country. Rudy is from Brazil living in Canada so this is like three three ways of separation from his home country honking the horn is a approved way of letting someone in the truck stop know that they're doing something wrong the second honk was uncalled for I agree but that's not a cause you that's like saying woman if you don't shut up I'm gonna hit you in the eye and then she don't shut up and you hit her in the eye and then you go well it's your fault woman because you didn't shut up who has that kind of logic but an idiot the guy was wrong if if he treated the motoring public the same way that he treated Rudy 
then this guy needed to be taken out of his out of his job. And I'm sorry he lost his job. I'm sure he did have a family to feed. Apparently, he's not doing a very good job of feeding his family, or he wouldn't be such an asshole. Maybe he was just having a really bad day, and and I'm still not going to cut him any slack because I have an, I have a bad day every day, and so do you. And we don't run around threatening people. And if you run around threatening people, you're probably going to get your teeth pushed in. It's just that simple. There are men out here that will push your teeth in. There are women out here that will push your teeth in. Rightly so. You, you have to own what you do. If you're going to... You, there's repercussions for everything. There, there, will, there will probably be repercussions for this video, and I don't care. Because I've noticed a trend in some people, and I'm not talking to you, Snorlord. I've never seen you go into this venue. I'm talking, actually, I'm, I'm talking to Pell Rider. Pell Rider be putting up these little, these little uh, community posts, taking digs at other people, and then that, nothing ever comes of it because he's that passive. Pell Rider, sit down. Just sit down and be quiet. All right, you're close to retirement. Relax. That's my opinion. Don't step into shit unless you expect to get stinky. Don't step in front of another person unless you expect to get slapped. Don't step anywhere unless you're ready to handle repercussions. And don't think I'm on here um, trying to protect Trucker Rudy. He's a big boy. He can take and protect himself. I got no special juice with Chuck and Rudy. We're, we're friends. We're, we're SEO friends, especially. As, we'll, we'll call it that. We're SEO friends, just like we tried to put you other guys in the same SEO group. If you don't want to be there, hey, that's fine. We'll take you out of the group. But he can take care of himself. I'm trying to protect the motor and public and other people. That you accost a YouTuber that happens to have a platform that you can use that platform for anything you use it for good you can use it for bad plenty of people use their platforms for bad don't they we see it every day so if you're going to use your platform use it it's your space it's your tube not someone else's tube but someone else can comment on it and, and do their opinion or reaction videos i never expected rudy's video that he he sent it to me before he ever released it and I thought he was perfectly fine. I did not like the second hunk, but I, but I still felt he was in it within his rights. I'm sorry this happened to you, Rudy. It happens to all of us. You know, we handle it. If you hadn't have been a YouTuber, there wouldn't have been nothing come of it. I can't believe people are making videos in a negative way. About this. And that, did you hear the audio? from Tennessee Steel Haulers Safety Department. Rudy didn't release that, did he? No, he didn't. He didn't ask me to release it either, but he did send it to me because the guy was a dick. So, Tennessee Steel Haulers Safety Department, you might be looking for a job next. Just saying. You just might be looking for a job. And maybe that's how you fix a man. If a man's gonna be all all uh, confrontational maybe to become a gentleman and and act right people need to lose their job occasionally I, I would I just kind of feel that way if you cannot handle a man physically in today's world you have to handle him in some way now it's not my fault we can't handle people physically anymore I still think that we should. I think that the world would be a better place if man, if men handled their business in a physical way. Because that guy that will call you out or talk shit, that's a matter of fact, I might as well just address that too. Talking shit. In my book, you talk shit, you get a black eye. There's no talking about it. You talk shit, you get a black eye. You touch my door, you enter my space. If you enter my space, and we're not on a friendly basis. It's this simple. This is arm length, arm length, right? This is my arm length. If you enter my space and we're, and we're not 
on a friendly basis, you're going down. Flat out. I am that guy. Someone said, I can't believe you're so hot-headed. I'm not hot-headed. I'm safety aware. I keep an eye on my space. And that's, I've, I've been this way my whole life. Maybe it's a, it's a situation from growing up in a, in a way that you had to watch your space. You don't got room to stick a knife in me if you're out of my space. So I'm gonna handle you. That guy touching Rudy's door was breaking and entering. A more hot-headed person would have shot him. Breaking and entering. Yes, breaking and entering in, 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 a, in a state in Wisconsin. Is that Wisconsin? I think it was Wisconsin, which is a castle doctrine state. He could have been shot. He could have been shot and got away with it. I'm glad Rudy did not hurt the guy. And you should be too. So you need to just put your negative videos away.